Infotainment require only one test. That's a simple test and that's a semen analysis. Lots of men, even who have babies in their bedroom, three and four of them will have a high sperm DNA fragmentation. We'll make this advice, which is ridiculous. Because after all, the sperm DNA is already present in the test. While we do lots of tests for infertile women because they contribute not just the ovaries but the uterus as well, you need to check their tubes. Infertile men require only one test. That's a simple test and that's a semen analysis. But you know how doctors are. No one's happy just doing a simple test. Doctors want to do lots of tests and patients want doctors to do lots of tests. And the more the tests and the more expensive tests, the fancier the test, obviously the better the test. So the latest racket now for semen analysis in IVF clinics is called the Sperm DNA Fragmentation Index. Quite a mouthful. It sounds impressive. And yes, of course, you know, the sperm contains DNA. The DNA is what gives rise to the baby. And if the DNA in the sperm is fragmented, there's going to be a problem. So therefore, why don't we do something about it? The reality is it's a useless test. Lots of men, even who have babies in their bedroom, three and four of them will have a high sperm DNA fragmentation index, which means there's a lot of overlap between fertile men and infertile men, which means the test is riddled with both false positives and false negatives. So it's a great test if you're a doctor who wants to make a lot of money for himself and who wants to create a lot of unnecessary anxiety in the patient. It's a useless test if you're a patient because it tells you nothing useful. But what's even worse is the bigger racket these days is that when men have a high sperm DNA fragmentation index, Doctors tell them, you know what, we're not going to use sperm from the semen. We're going to take out sperm directly from your testicles. We're going to do a testicular sperm aspiration. And it's often bad andrologists and urologists or gynecologists who don't know any better who will make this advice, which is ridiculous. Because after all, the sperm DNA is already present in the testis. And if there is a high sperm DNA fragmentation, that's going to be there, whether it's in the testis or whether it's there in the ejaculate. So A, not only does this make no logical sense at all, it's a complete waste of your time and money. So if there are sperm in your semen, please do not allow any man to undergo a testicular sperm aspiration unnecessarily. And even if it's you are the man or if it's your husband, don't let them damage your family jewels by doing completely unnecessary painful surgery, which is uncalled for.